Hi guys. So we've got another Beyond Blue mystery pack here to open up. And this was my second pack I ordered. I did buy the very first pack uh, that was listed and I tried to buy the very last pack. Now this was the last pack and it came up sold out. But then I think uh, JD had some more stuff that she managed to put through a few more packs. So oh, I did want the first and last. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I thought I'll unbox it on camera. I've just put a little hole so that you um, don't have to watch me try and get the envelope open. And if most of you probably know what the Beyond Blue fundraiser was, um, but if you don't, I'll put all the details in the um, description box below and I think the packs are all sold out and finished now, but I'm pretty sure you can still donate on the uh, link. And if not the link that we were using for this fundraiser, you can still uh, donate straight through the Beyond Blue uh, website page. So I'll put all that details down below. And JD, she did such a wonderful job. Um, I don't know how she kept up with packing all those orders and sending them out to be honest and we I remember JD and I at the beginning we were like oh we hope a, you know a hundred packs can sell and we can raise a thousand dollars and you know I hoped that but I I didn't think it actually um, would reach that that you know total but um yeah I'm not sure how many sold in the end but it was quite a few and I think over $1,300 was raised for Beyond Blue. So um, well done, JD. It was such a great effort. And they were great packs. I, I'm, I know that every unboxing that I've seen everyone do, um, everyone has been so happy with what they've got because so many great items were donated. So anyway, I'll go quickly through. So I've got some yarn, this big, fat, fluffy one which is, and it's nice, nice pattern too. And, ooh, these look like some little paper beads. I went through a paper bead, I think I think a lot of us did, <laughs> a few years ago making paper beads. They, they're quite addictive once you start. I think I've still got a few red ones left. Not many, though. I've been trying to use them up. But these ones look like maybe magazine page ones. And some ribbon. There's probably a card in here or something I should have found first. Oh, look at this. That's cool. It's like a little patch. That would be good for like an Egyptian journal. That's really cool. And some fabric. Actually, that could probably stay with that. <laughs> I think she might have put these in because of my recycling. These are jumbo ones. What are they of? Giant bread rolls or something. Okay, let me see if there's a card in here. Yeah. So this is JD's card. It's uh, Willow Bound Journals. That's one of her little art cards. Oops, left something in here. And that's her business card. She drew this little logo. But I'll put the link to her channel down below. A oh, little envelope. It's out of like a scrap of a book page. Somebody's probably trimmed the book page to put in a journal and then made a little uh, envelope out of it. Tag. <laughs> Smileys. I'm going to give those to my little grandson. He loves sticking stickers in books and stuff, colouring books and oh, and those as well. 
He'll love those. Those will be fun for him. And there's some little um, handmade envelopes, like book page ones. This one looks like really old paper. Fairy card. Oh, that's cute. Oh, tickets. I love tickets. I've got ticket issues. These are some little tags that look like maybe made out of some recycled cardboard. Playing card. I wonder what this is to. Oh, this is like a religious one. Hello, weekend. I'm trying to be really quick because... After my 50-minute Mammoth Wendy Mason unboxing video, I even gave you a break yesterday. Actually, I've got some of these, which I just coffee dyed. <laughs> so I thought I'd coffee dye some for my shop. And, but my ones, they come in, in a whole sheet that you pull apart. You can actually... um. They're on a sheet because you can put them through the printer. Oh, these are little um, paint chips. I actually have a whole bunch of these for when we were painting a year or two ago. Little journal cards. Children's playing cards. They make good little pockets and stuff. Coffee dyed index card. Oh, this is actually, um, it, it's like a stamp sheet. Well, it's not like it is, <laughs> but somebody has um, used the whole sheet and it's been stamped. Kind of looks like one of the first day covers or something. That's cool to make a journal card out of it like that. <laughs> James, is this yours? I think James, um, my friend, donated uh, that maybe. I think I remember it from the boxing and possibly this. Jamesy, I got your stuff. What's in this little baggie? Oops, I better not pull it out because there's all little bits. Oh, but I do kind of want to, but... Oh, there's one of those little beads. Like a little boho bead. Except it's got a Christmas star. Little Christmas one. That's cute. I make these as well. Except... I use the inner tube of a spray bottle. So, you know, like um, you know, these spray bottles, well, any spray bottle, the bigger ones, um, I use those. Actually, I had a video on it, I think. I'll, I'll put the link in the comments box below if you want to see it. Oh, these are little letters, but they feel like paper mache. <laughs> Feels like um, crepe paper that has been paper mache and some little feathers and ribbons and paper clips. Okay, I better not pull all that out or you'll be here forever. Probably sick of seeing me go through stuff now. Oh, that's pretty. Some there was some really beautiful fabric and everything donated for the fundraiser. I loved see, I loved watching everyone's unboxings as well. That's pretty. Look at that. Actually, I'm surprised, JD, that you parted with this. That would look really pretty in a um, botanical journal. Oh, this is lovely. That's really nice. I 
I like this um, material, this satiny material for, um, what are they? Ruffles. Because they scrunch up really well. Little flowers. That's cute. And there's a little butterfly there. And some napkins. I still don't actually have too many napkins. Actually, Sue Freeman sent me a whole bunch. Oh, this is cute. I've seen I've seen a lot of people with these um, Australian ones. They're good for um, sending overseas. It's one of those colouring in little postcards. Peacock. Oh. Is this from your ballet school, JD? Maybe, I don't know. That's just cardboard to recycle. Oh no, pay envelopes! <laughs> Do you know, years and years ago, when I was quite young, I used to work at a bank, Westpac, and um, yeah, we used to make up the pay envelopes um, for all the factories in the area. And we used to use, not these exact ones, but similar. Um, because back in those days, you could get paid by cash. Now, everything's direct deposited. So, it it's funny that these are still kicking around, actually. Because um, who gets paid by cash these days? Unless you're dodgy. Oh, that's just a repurposed um, envelope, like recycled envelope. And that one, someone's made a little envelope. Magazine envelope. I need to make more of those. I've got none left. Decoupaged envelope. Whoops. Plain one. That's pretty napkin. Ooh, big index cards. I've got so many envelopes I need to use up. You were invited to... Oh, that's a wedding. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, and that's the matching envelope. Oh, this envelope's cool. That's really nice. And what else? Oh, this is a... Actually, I was just, um, I've got a video to upload where I've, um, I was making some envelopes out of map uh, pages, out of atlas pages, um, because I've got so many atlases and I made little string things like this as well. I'll probably upload that today or tomorrow. Costumes and uniform series. wonder what that was. Oh, wait, there's a badge in there. Da, da, da. Was this some sort of sewing thing? Oh, stamps. Pre-folded stamp hinges. That's cool. That's pretty old, I'd say. Whoops, I don't know if that... <laughs> I don't know if that's a, an envelope. No, it's just cardboard. Map. Where is it from? Cans to cardboard. Oops. These look like stickies, are they? No, oh, what are these? Oh, paper wristbands, like they use at the um, children's things, um, playgroups and stuff. Oh, book page. Cocoon. 
our dictionary page. Our little tags, they're cute. Oops, I don't even know if I'm on camera, sorry. Oh, this is um cork, really thin. Feels so nice. Oh no, wedding dress. I'm so sick of cutting up wedding dresses. Oh my gosh. Um, I've been cutting up wedding dresses to make mystery packs. And um, yeah, I the, the, the wedding dress pack started with like a certain amount of pieces. But as I made, as I had to cut more and more and more, I was so sick of it. I was just like, cramming so many in the in the past few just to get rid of them and I've still got so many left so I might do some packs where I actually show what's in the pack as well so if you because not everyone likes mystery packs I like mystery packs because I love the surprise of it but um if you don't like mystery packs I'm I will be making up some packs so you can see exactly what's in that pack and yeah um I think the packs now, I've been putting more in than the original ones just because I want to get rid of them. There's, they're taking up so much room. Dragon. I still have to finish my dragon journal. I've got so many half-finished projects. Oh, these are cute. It's like out of an art book or magazine. Magazine. Oh, Queensland Ballet. I also had started a ballet journal um, quite a while back for someone. It's a pretty picture. And this is one of JD's um, art cards. I've got another one of these the big one the lighted path and i'll put this one with it she knows that's my second favorite one anyway that's it thank you for watching yet another unboxing or of something i've been putting a lot of happy mails up because <laughs> so many people have sent happy mails and i'm i'm so speechless like i can't believe um the generosity of of everyone it's it's been amazing and i think um the Beyond Blue fundraiser, um, it really, really highlighted how just generous the the crafting community is. Like so many people donated stuff um, from all around the world. And um, yeah, $1,300 over, I think, $1,300 raised for such a great cause. And um, thank you, JD, for all the work you did. Um, you know, when I suggested a fundraiser for you to do, <laughs> I didn't realise that you would be so, so busy um, when I saw all the videos you uploaded for the unboxing and you had the flu or something halfway in between and lost your voice almost and you just kept going and pumping out those packs, getting them in the mail, making them up and um, hats off to you. Like, I, I'm really, really impressed that you... Um, manage that and not only that you kept up with your regular work you kept putting stuff in your Etsy you were posting on Facebook you're still doing videos on YouTube you were making your own journals um, you're like Superwoman I just don't know where you find the time to to get everything done but um yeah well done you you deserve a medal honestly you did a great job and um thanks so much and Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks to everyone who donated um, supplies or purchased a pack or donated money straight to the fundraiser page. Just great effort from everyone. Thanks so much. Bye.